Hello students, how are you all? Good day to you. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video clip. Yes, I am your Mr. BJ from Utsar Christian Raka. Now students, basically today I am going to go through with you the chapter of reproduction and I am going to make the chapter of reproduction very much easier for you to understand. Yes, that's right students. And uh, please do stay till to the end because I will be letting you know about how you could further learn of my tips through the net. Okay, students, so and there are also a lot of goodies there for you, yeah? Alright, so before I proceed, I would like to thank all of you all who have given me wonderful comments for the videos that I have posted through YouTube. Okay? Alright, so the chapter of reproduction. Now many of you all love this chapter, I know I can see a lot of smiling faces out there, a lot of happy and laughter faces. Yes, I know this chapter basically is preferred by many, okay? So let's just see how you could understand this chapter. Yes, that's right. Students, basically many of you all have this habit or this uh, preference of memorizing the subject of science. No, that is not the right way to study. And I'm going to prove it to you today where I'm going to make you understand this chapter of reproduction. That's right, students. The key point, the key word here is that understand, right? Let's go to the board here, students. Okay, this chapter of reproduction is a very wonderful and beautiful chapter. Okay, reproduction. Right, students? Now, the first thing that you must understand in this chapter, students, is that reproduction is carried out by living organisms and this is a very important thing yeah living organisms all right students so reproduction is carried out by living organisms when i mention living organisms students this includes both animals and plants yes that's right yeah both animals and plants so let's put that over there both animals and plants okay students so again, I repeat that for you, reproduction is carried out by living organisms. When I mean living organism, this means that it includes both animals and plants. Right students? Okay, now if an organism is characterized as living, then it must carry out some basic vital processes. Yes, what are those processes here? Yeah? I know some of you are already asking this question. Good. That shows that you all are very inquisitive. Wonderful students. You are really fantastic, right? Okay. So, what are the basic characteristics of some of the basic processes that are carried out by living organisms? Yes. I can hear some of you are already saying the answer. Very good to you. Yes. One of it is the process of respiration. Okay which we will be going through in later chapters okay now the other one is the process of breathing okay the process of breathing number three students number three would be the process of excretion okay excretion next number four would be the process of growth yes i also heard some of you are mentioning that very good number five would be response towards stimulus or stimuli response towards stimuli okay all right students these are some of the basic processes which are carried out by all living organisms whereby one of it includes reproduction okay students so as you can see Reproduction is one of the basic processes which is carried out by all living organisms and that is what we are going to learn about today. The process of reproduction. Can you see that or not students? Okay. Alright. Now why do organisms carry out the process of reproduction? Yes. That is an important question to be asked, right? That's it. Why? Why does living organisms have to undergo the process of reproduction? Yes, number one would be, the most important reason would be for it to continue its species. In other words, for continuum of 
its species. Yes. In other words, to prevent it from becoming, yes. What is that, students? I heard some of you are saying. Yes, that's right. To prevent it from becoming extinct. Yes. All right. Prevent from extinction. Very good. Okay. From to prevent it from extinction. So that is the number one reason why organisms need to reproduce. So that it keeps on going. You see. All right. The reason number two would be to increase its number. To increase its number. Yes. Okay. To increase its number. Now this could be very important. Why? Sometimes when it increases its quantity number, it helps to protect itself against other organisms, mainly predate predators. Yes. That's right. So these are the two main reasons why living organisms need to carry on the process of reproduction. Yes, students. Number one is for it to continue its survival or continue its species. In other words, prevent it from becoming extinct. Reason number two is to increase its numbers, perhaps to protect itself against predators. All right. So these are the two main reasons today. So this is what I would like to teach you for the for today's part. And the next video you can foresee for me to explain to you about two types of reproduction. That's right. Reproduction is broken into two types, which one of it will be sexual reproduction, and the other one will be asexual reproduction this will be much more interesting as we go on further i'm sure you all will be interested to study about this right all right student so i just want to give you a basic idea on this chapter of reproduction okay i hope you have benefited from what i have given you and please look out for other videos of mine you can just go and tap or type chegu vj that's right, V I J A Y. Okay, and you can see a lot of my YouTube's. Right, I hope my YouTube's could help you to a certain extent. Yes, students. Now, please do inform your other friends in school about my video so that they can also benefit from this. Remember, students, sharing is caring. The reason why I'm doing this video is to see whether if I could help you to understand these chapters in greater length. Okay, students? Now, if you would like to know more about what we do at Pusat Dushadakan, you can go to our website at www.rakan.edu.my or you can contact us at 012-680-5900, students, right? We have a lot of extra classes, tutorials, in fact, every week we have tutorials. You could actually join in this tutorial. And I got a lot of easy method where I pass to my students so that they can learn science in a faster and simpler manner. I hope you could come and join. Yeah? It would be really wonderful for you to join in my class where I would like to assist you and to know you better. So, please. Come for my class, call us and we are ready to help you. And please do go and tell your friends that we are also giving out our UPSR, PMR and SPM uh, spotted questions. And our spotted questions are very accurate. You can check out our YouTubes. There are plenty of testimonies whereby our students have given positive note about our spotted question. So until then, students, have a nice day. Bye-bye.